All right, so in this video, we're checking out the Mobula 6 Express LRS Edition. So this one comes in two versions, the 2.4 gigahertz version and the 900 megahertz version. So uh, it's pretty similar to the original Mobula 6, hence the name. But they made, um, obviously, a number of changes, which we'll go over here. So first and most importantly, they changed the all-in-one flight controller board to the Express LRS version. You can see here, this is the 2.4 gigahertz version, and you can see it has that plastic uh, SMD surface mounted antenna, the little tiny one there. And um, there's the 900 megahertz version, which comes with like a standard 900 megahertz antenna that's fairly bigger, and also that one's not SPI. Uh, if you want to check out my first Express LRS video, which I'll link down in the description, you can see what that board looks like. It's a little bit different, but that's the other version of the uh, Mobula 6 Express LRS that comes with the blue frame, uh, but the same motors and props, just the flight controller is different on that one versus this one here. And so the one that's in here is the same as this board here, as you see. And um, it's pretty similar to the, um, the all-in-one board that's down here. It comes with a video transmitter. I think it's the same up to 200 milliwatts. Now they did change the um, motors and the props. So you get the two-bladed HQ props here. And they did that because they switched the motors to these um, 0702s, 26,000 kV motors. And it's a pretty big departure from the 0802, 25,000 kV on the Mobula 6. And quite a bit different from the ones that are 19,500 kV as well. So I'll talk about that in a little bit here. Now in terms of uh, all of the different weight differences, let me just uh, show you what these are. So this is the uh, Mobile 6 without the battery. And we're coming in at 19.2 grams. This is the original original Mobile 6 here with the 0802 motors. And it's coming in at 20 grams. So I did fly these with um, a variety of batteries. I tried these Happy Model batteries, 300 milliamp hours. And uh, there's a lot of variation in these batteries. Some are gonna be better than others. I think as they, they seem to age quicker, and the internal resistance on these batteries seems to go up a lot sooner than on say the GNB batteries. These are the similar GNB batteries here that I also flew with. So um, because these 0702 motors do draw more current, you get a shorter flight time than the 0802 motors. And of course, because the motor size is different, the KV is a little bit higher. Uh, basically on the better batteries, the GNB 300s, uh, about, you can expect about a two minute flight, maybe a little bit less, uh, kind of flying fairly aggressively in sort of a race, you know, racing gate situation, or just going all out, um, just kind of doing like freestyle outdoors, that kind of stuff. You are, um, yeah, it's going to be less than two minutes. You're going to be lucky to get two minutes on this battery. Whereas on the Mobula 6 with the 25,000 kV motors, you're going to get closer to two and a half minutes, maybe um, more. Now I, now, I flew this. This is this is a totally stock Mobula 6. So um, I keep these around for reference, and I didn't make any modifications to this other than you know, connecting up to my radio. And this is also five flu stock. So, but I think that they are running 48 kilohertz on this one here. Whereas I think the stock Mobula 6 I have here on the right is still on 24 kilohertz. So something to keep in mind. I know that when I, after I did the 48 kilohertz updates and all the modifications and whatever, you can probably get even more flight time on this 300 milliamp hour, probably closer to three, I'm thinking th maybe over three minutes, you know, pretty aggressive flying. On this battery, but I wanted to keep it all stock. I kept this actually. Um, well, I actually had to buy another one because I uh, gave one one away, and I, I kind of regretted doing that because I I kind of need these around for these kind of reference uh, comparisons in the in a, in a future you know in a future video because these newer models with updated motors come out, then I have to go back to these older models and kind of like get a you know get an idea of like what changed and what's the difference, and which I'll talk about here as well. And I also have um, this model as well, the UR65. This is an old one that I also keep around for reference, totally stock. 
and this one has the 0603 motor. And so this is um, like a kind of a classic, but it comes with the rolled pin PH 2.0 connector and F3 flight controller. This is basically old tech, but um, you know, it was uh, fun back in the day, but you know, very short flight times in this one with the 0603 motor, not very efficient. And when I go back and I fly this every once in a while and I realize, wow, things have really improved from the days of this this model. This is like one of the first ones that was sort of um, uh, uh, not a bind-in fly, tiny one, one that you didn't have to like piece together for with your own parts. So I, so I keep a lot of these models around, which is why I had to buy this one again because I wanted to see uh, what the differences were you know, between these models. And that's why I keep these around for comparison purposes to share with you guys. So let's talk about the differences between the new one and the original. Not without any modifications because of course you can go totally crazy and there's a lot of different ways you can modify things and it's just, there's just no way for me to cover all that ground. Just talking about things here, talking about things here just totally stock as they came from the factory. So here's the thing about the 0702 motor. Obviously you wanna go with the bi-bladed prop here. Now, um, Happy Mile did inform me that the reason they made the 0702 motor is by the request of a fellow named Angry Don FPV. So he's, uh, I guess, one of their test pilots, and he does a lot of, um, uh, I guess, development work for Happy Mile in terms of providing suggestions and stuff like that. So this was this is directly from him, and obviously they have elected to go with the bi-bladed prop here instead of the tri-bladed prop. Probably because of the way he likes to fly, and I don't, I don't really know the guy. I I think he's got a YouTube channel. I uh, I'm not really sure. I honestly um, not uh, I'm not connected to him at all. So this is just information from Happy Model. But you know he probably requested this motor because he flies in a certain way, and it, maybe he doesn't like the 0802 motor as much. Now, the 0802 motor has been around a while, and I think most people probably agree that's the, the go-to motor for most um, Tiny Whip builds. And when I first flew the 0702 motor here on this setup, yeah, it's about, you know, almost a gram lighter. It's, um, it, I, 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 at the beginning, first probably 10 packs, I had a really hard time adjusting to flying the 0702. So something for you guys to be aware of. It's going to take you a little bit of time to adjust to the way this motor performs and how you're going to be able to control it when you're trying to fly through some tighter courses with a lot of turns, um, you know, if you want to maintain that sort of same speed. Now, that being said, after, you know, I, at first I was like, oh, okay, this is really hard. I, I don't know why I'm crashing so much. I was almost uh, almost like going to give up on the motor. I'm like, okay, this is not viable for me. Maybe I just suck or this motor is not good for me. It could be the case that this, this motor may not be good for you at all. Now, I did give it, you know, a quite a bit more time and a lot of crashing and uh, adjustment to get used to this motor. And uh, eventually I got the hang of it. It took me a while. Uh, I had to sort of realize that I needed to give a lot more throttle input on pretty much any sort of uh, yaw maneuver. So it's best to explain on the radio. When you're looking at, when you're controlling, you know, your quad here such, as such, on the 0, 0802 motor, my, your control or where you have the best torque on the motor or control of the motor is a little bit lower on the throttle here. So I don't adjust the throttle. I mean, I know that some people will make a throttle expo or throttle mid adjustment so that the throttle um, gives you the best power band in the middle. I don't do that on any of the models. I, I just fly everything stock. So on the, if you're flying at o, the 0802 stock, it's a little bit lower in the throttle band for your, where you have the best control, especially on the yaw maneuvers. But on the 0702, it's fairly higher up. It's, I would say a good 20, to 25% higher up on the throttle where you're gonna feel like you have the most control. And that's something that I had the most difficulty adjusting to. This is just my way of explaining it and the way I fly, your, your experience might be completely different. So I, I'm just trying to explain why I had a hard time adjusting to the motor. Once I figured it out that I needed to have much more throttle input in making certain maneuvers, especially yaw and on, a little bit on roll as well. But uh, after I figured that out, 
uh, the motor was controllable to me, and I felt like it was fairly equivalent to the 0802 motor. And the advantage is this is overall lighter, but you don't really get more flight time. In fact, you get less flight time because of the KV. What I think you do get advantages on longer runs, like if you have like longer straighter runs, you're going to get more top speed on this one, especially on the bi blade. So if you're on a track with um, longer runs versus a tighter track, which is a lot of a lot of turns, I think that the 0702 will give you an advantage over the 0802. Whereas if you're on a really tight track with a lot of turns, a lot of gates, the 0802, the 0802 I think is still going to give you an advantage over the 0702 in my opinion. So this is just my opinion. I'm sure yeah, a lot of you guys might disagree on that. If you've flown the 0702, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think and how you feel it flies differently from the 0802. And uh, if uh, Angry Don, if you're watching this video, please feel free to comment below and let us all know uh, why you've chosen the 0702 over the 0802 and, and how you fly it and how you like to fly these kind of motors and why you've made the choices you've made. So just wanted to you know, bring that out because I... I have a feeling that a lot of you guys are probably going to buy this and you're going to be taken aback, I think. It's it's very different from the OD2. At first I was like, well, how different could it be? And it actually makes a pretty big difference. And um, it's a little bit, I think for beginner pilots, you're probably not going to really notice much difference. Uh, but once you uh, get a little bit more skilled in, into racing, you're going to notice it and it's going to be a pretty big deal. And it's going to make a difference in terms of how you control the quad and what what you what you do in all the different turns and everything like that. It's just a different way. It really is a different way of kind of flying. And it took me probably a good 20, 25 packs to finally figure out this motor. And now I feel pretty comfortable with it. I mean, I'm going to continue flying this and doing more comparisons and all that. But yeah, you know, it's it's okay. I think it I think it has its purpose for a certain situation, like I said, for tracks with a little bit longer runs, you're going to probably overtake people in those longer runs where it's like, it's like straightaways versus uh, tracks that have a lot of turns. So anyway, I think that's going to do it. Um, you know, I've probably showed you a lot of flight footage already here. I'll link some other stuff down, down in the description as well if you want to see some additional footage. That's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.